So there's a lot of work going on at the moment with wheel nuts and, and uh, retaining wheels on the car. Obviously there's a few issues within the category. So I thought it was a good opportunity to try and explain exactly what's going on. So let's start with last year's stuff. You can see this is what last year's spindle looks like. It's quite a big item when you compare it to what is on the current car. If you look at the difference in size, it's significant. So we have that spindle from last year. We push this in, that retains the nut. You see these little tangs on the bottom of this? So what happens is that sits in there and then when you have the rattle gun to put the nut on, it depresses that, pulls the tangs in and you wind the nut on with the rattle gun. With this year's car, much smaller item as you can see and, and it works differently. So what happens is there's no button in the center of that when this nut drops over that sleeve, it pushes those tangs in and then the rattle gun winds the nut up. So the system is very different, but it's more than that when you really look closely at it. So you can see one's very flat on the inside and the other one's got a taper on it. The wheels are aluminium, so it's aluminium on aluminium, so they heat up at the same time. So from years gone past when we had magnesium wheels, one would heat at a different rate and so the, nut, the wheels would tend to stay on. But now with aluminium, they either get wound on too tight and stick, which is why we used to run a uh, treat the surface so they could unwind. So there's a, there's a fair bit going on in difference with the nuts. If we look at the top and we see the difference in the, the tangs that the um, socket goes on to wind them on, this one is much smaller than this one. So the amount of torque needed to do the nut up is, is slightly different. What we do now is we run the same pressure, same rattle guns, and, and the guys know when the wheels are tight in a pit stop through the hammer hitting. So it's when it spins, it winds it on, and then it starts to clunk when it feels like the wheel nut is tight. One hit of the hammer with this is around 350 pounds of torque. One hit of the hammer with this is 800. So this instantly does up a lot tighter than what we currently have. And that's part of the problem, I think. So it's not, it's not a matter of one hit of the hammer, two hit of the hammer. The, the problem or the issue is once the wheel is, you know, it's a race. So once you hear it go bang, you want to get that car out. So it's like clunk, 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 drop the car, send it on its way. With this wheel nut, you can see inside these, it's got bits that actually clip into the tang. So if it starts to unwind, it sits in there and it stops the nut continually coming off. This nut doesn't have those. And so that's one of the things they're looking at doing, changing the wheel nut. So if they change these tangs, then it will click into the nut and it'll hopefully go do a better job of retaining the nut. So there's a lot going on. We've only got a week and a half until we get to Bathurst. So Triple Eight and Supercars are working on this flat out and hopefully we'll get a result and we can, uh, we can sort it out next week. But time is starting to become against us.